Hi, this is Gregory and we are on lesson 10 of our Python and Drones course. In this lesson, we are going to use our drones to perform a 3D scanning of big objects. Imagine you have a big object uh, and you would like to create a 3D model of it. Our drone will be programmed to fly around this object uh, multiple times, making multiple pictures of this object from all possible angles. Then we will see how a special software can be used to create a 3D model of this artwork. We will begin by importing the Tello library as well as the Time and Math library. We will launch our drone, start the video and run the scan circle function. We will write this function so that it scans a circle with 10 corners and 200 centimeters radius. Students that are good at maths can try solving the length of each side given this information. It is equivalent to 2 times 200 times sine of pi divided by 10. We will fly our drone left by that amount, take a photo turn clockwise 360 divided by 10, then take another photo. Our take photo function will wait one second and save the current video frame. Since we are using OpenCV to save the frames, we can add it to the top. The function to save images is cv.imwrite. The file name will include the timestamp so it doesn't overwrite the same file. Now let's test our program and see if our drone can scan one layer, the lowest layer of our tower. The drone will take off, we will see the video stream on our screen very soon. And every time our drone makes a picture, we will see uh, the line printed here, indicating that the drone uh, has captured the photo. Photo captured, photo captured. Very good. Now let's create more layers and take more pictures. Since we are going to do three layers of circles, each with a different radius, we will make our scan circle function more flexible. It will take in a radius value, so replace 200 with radius. It will also take a corners value, so replace 10 with corners. We will write a function to scan a layer. It will take in a layer ID, radius and corners. It will run the scan circle function and pass it the radius and corners values. We will print a confirmation message once it has scanned a layer. And then we will run the next layer function. This function will simply move the drone up and a bit more forward. Now, at the bottom, instead of scanning one circle, we will run the first layer. We will give it an ID of 1, a radius of 150, and 10 corners. For layer 2, the radius will be 125. Layer 3 will have a radius of 100. Now, we're going to test all three layers. The drone takes off, we will see the video stream on our screen very soon.
That was pretty good. Now, after our drone has landed, let's have a look at its report. Every time the drone took a picture, it printed photo captured uh, in our console. Every time our drone completed the full layer, it printed scanned layer. See, scanned layer one is printed here, scanned layer two is printed here, and scanned layer three is printed here after that the drone has landed. Now let's have a look at the images which our drone has uh, taken and they are stored in a special folder called Lesson 10. Now we can open all of them and just flip through them. So this is uh, layer 1, the lowest layer. Now we're going layer 2. At this point, the drone came really close. And this is uh, layer 3. That's very close. And the drone landed. For an extension task, students are encouraged to research what software packages and techniques can take these photos and construct a 3D model from them. This is called photogrammetry. There are several applications such as NGSoft for a scan, Reality Capture, Meshroom and 3D Zephyr. In this example, we used Reality Capture and it produced quite nice results. Students can discuss topics such as what are some other uses of photogrammetry technology and are there any issues that may arise from scanning an area.